Chance, what it is and what it ain't. It's your boy Liquid Cash. And right now you watching the School of Hard Knocks. I'm just trying to get it like you got it, you dig? Liquid Cash. And right before we get started with this episode, I like to pop a bottle just to celebrate the fact that I finished the first semester of School of Hard Knocks. And um, I just want to, you know, celebrate one time because I didn't even think that I could finish two episodes when I first started. I didn't even think that I could even make it this far to finish this amount of episode that I've finished. And I'm proud of myself. And I hope I was able to, you know, uh, create value to the world and help a few people and some of the things that I said. So we're going to pop a bottle for the celebration of the first semester of School of Hard Knocks. And uh, hopefully next year we could have uh, more episodes. You dig? So before we get started, we're going to toast to that. You dig? It's your boy Liquid Cash, man. We're going to celebrate. Right now, you know, I don't really drink champagne, the regular kind of champagne, so I did some uh, Roscato Moscato sparkling, you know what I mean? Sparkling wine type vibe. So, you know, besides going down, get myself a glass of wine. Because I appreciate myself, even though, even if nobody else appreciate me, I appreciate myself, man. You know what I mean? We're going to cheers. The new beginnings and never ending. 2020, it's gonna be a major year. And this topic, yeah, man. So today, this topic is about self value. You gotta value yourself, man. Bottom line, man. You gotta value yourself. When I was coming up, I didn't value myself much, man. I'ma keep it 100. I'ma tell the truth. I didn't value myself when I was coming up because ain't nobody gave me the game. Ain't no OGs put my coat and told me stop hanging out with the chicken heads. Stop running around with niggas that ain't above nothing. Nobody put my coat and told me that. So I just hung out with, you know, certain calibers of dudes, certain calibers of females. You know, the female I might be popping off with every nigga on the block. I, I hung out with her, gave her the time of the day, even though I knew she wasn't on my caliber, but I didn't really know because I didn't value myself. So, you know, you got to watch the company you keep. Certain scumbags and certain sleazy niggas with no integrity and dignity, those are the type of dudes you need to stay far away from. But when you're young and you're coming up, you don't really know that because you feel like, you know, y'all all in the same pack, y'all all doing the same type of things. So you didn't put no value on them and you really didn't put no value on yourself. So you, nine out of ten times, got yourself in a lot of trouble like I did. I got myself in a lot of trouble hanging out with bad company and certain dudes that didn't value value themselves. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to give the knowledge to the younger dudes and the younger generation coming up. You know, you have to value yourself, man. You dig? You gotta place value in yourself because if you don't, you're gonna end up in situations that you don't wanna be in. You're gonna end up with people that you don't wanna be with. You know what I mean? You're gonna end up settling for females, or you may end up settling for a male. If you're a female, you may end up settling for a male that ain't even on your level. But because you have no self worth and you have no value on yourself, you settle. And I'm here to tell you right now place a value on yourself. You know what I mean? Place a value on yourself. If you wanna say you're priceless, you are priceless. I'm gonna finish this glass of wine real quick, you dig? Mm, this shit good, I ain't gonna lie. I value myself, so I try to put my, you know, try to get the best. You know, uh, I don't know too much about wine. I ain't a wine kind of saw. The guy in the liquor store told me it was good, so I'm assuming that it's, you know, top of the line. Either way, it only cost me about $12. So, you know, it's all good. Anyway, we're gonna get back to this, man. But like I was saying, man, you got to put value on yourself. Stop settling, man. Stop it. You know what I mean? 
You could crush a dollar up. You could rip a dollar in half. If you tape it together and you go to the store, that dollar still values one dollar bill. And you could buy something for 99 cents. You know? So no matter how much times you've been, you know, through the trials and tribulations, life has been busting your ass, throwing you in the trash, you still valuable. You still worth something. And don't let nobody treat you like you ain't worth something. You know, you got to value yourself, man. Got to place value on yourself because if you don't, people will not place the value that you're worth on you. Somebody will hire you for a job and give you less than you deserve because you don't have value on yourself. You could get in a relationship and somebody will give you less than you deserve. They won't take you on dates. They won't buy you no flowers. They wouldn't do romantic things that you may like because you value yourself. And you don't, and if you don't place value in yourself, they're not gonna do those things. You know, you gotta be able to treat yourself and not cheat yourself. Be in relationships that help you grow, help you better yourself. Be with people that help you grow and help you better yourself. But it all starts with you. It all starts with you placing value on yourself. Because if you don't, ain't nobody else gonna do it for you. You know, if you wanna live a certain life, you got to envision yourself living that life. And you got to envision yourself being that person. Show up. Buy the best clothes that you can buy. It don't have to be Gucci, Louis, Versace, and all that stuff. But it can be the best clothes that you could afford. And buy the best clothes. Because when you buy new things that make you feel good, you put value on yourself. You know what I mean? When you buy something new, the reason I go shopping a lot and I buy new clothes, because new clothes comes with new energy. If you keep on wearing the same thing over and over, you, 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 you diminish the energy of that particular clothing and you use it all up. So a lot of times I might wear a shirt and I might not pull that shirt out for the next six months because I want it to have a certain amount of energy when I put it back on. And that's a little too far deep. I don't even want to get that deep for y'all. I don't even want to go there. But my whole... Uh, point in this whole blog post that I'm letting y'all know is that you have to put value on yourself, man. Stop hanging around people that don't value you, you know, and you can tell by their actions. You can tell by how they talk to you, how they sneak this, how they hate on you on the low. That's how you know they don't value you. You know what I mean? Don't get caught up in, in, in all the fake likes on Instagram. Don't get caught up on the fake comments on Instagram. Those people that watch your page and, 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 and just watch and doesn't, they don't even engage with your with your uh, your content. You know, they don't value you. Your friends that say you're friends and you got a business and they don't come and support your business, they don't value you. People that you might have spent money with and support their business and they don't support your business or support what you're doing or your brand or your movement, they don't value you. You know, and you got to understand that. Now, I'm not saying separate, separate yourself from everybody. I'm just saying get like-minded people around you. Get like-minded people who value your presence, who value your, capa your, your creative capabilities, who understand your vision, and who wants to see you grow. That's what it all boils down to. In 2020, you got to put value in yourself, man. When I was a young kid coming up, I'm gonna tell y'all this story. When I was a young kid coming up, man, I had about like 12 girlfriends in the same school. And the reason I had 12 girlfriends in the same school is because, you know, I was shy. You know, I was a very shy, timid, you know, young guy in school, wasn't really too talkative with the females. I didn't have the persona that you see right now before you. You know, so a lot of times girls, but I always was attractive, always was attractive. And always kept myself groomed and always cleanly. So women was always interested in conversing with me and getting to know me. So women would come up to me in school and, you know, buy me food, buy me lunch, offer to do my homework. And a lot of times those particular girls were, you know, older girls too. I would be like in the, you know, like in the fifth grade or maybe the sixth grade. And you, I get a chick that's in the 10th grade or the 11th grade asking me to be their boyfriend. 
And I'd always say yes. And I don't care. It, doesn't, it didn't even matter how the chick looked. If she asked me to be her boyfriend, I would always say yes. And I had to think, and I would say, why do I always? So I said yes so many times that I had 12 girlfriends in the school at the same time. And I would see each of them on certain periods and certain lunch breaks and certain days. And these relationships wouldn't last at all because, you know, I didn't have no game back then. So these relationships would be like, you know, maybe two weeks, three weeks. But I'd always have a consistent girlfriend, you know, and, uh, and more than one. And that's because I didn't value myself. I let anybody come into my circle, anybody come into my life that I didn't even, I didn't value myself. So it could be any little chicken head from up the block and that would be my girlfriend for a week or two. I would entertain her for a week or two. Really, when really I shouldn't because I didn't place value on myself. And you gotta be careful who you let into your life, man. You gotta be careful who you let into your life because not everybody that enters your life is in your life for the right reason. So as a young age, I had to I had to grow up real quick, you know. I didn't grow up with a mother, so I had to learn a lot of things uh, 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 through other women. So that's what one of the reasons why most of the girls I had to learn myself as I got older. That's one of the reasons why I would have so much girlfriends because I guess I was trying to make up for not having that female energy in my life at home. So when I'm in school. I would always want to be around females and I was embracing to when women wanted to say, hey, I want to be a boyfriend. I would embrace them because I was lacking something at home. You feel me? And that's that female energy. But once I placed value on myself, I started to diminish having that, that amount of girlfriends and started to, started to uh, just focus on myself. And the main thing I want you to understand when, you, when it comes to valuing yourself, you have to learn yourself. You have to understand yourself. You got to know who you are. You got to do some soul searching. You know what I mean? You got to do some soul searching. And you got to be able to change some of the things you don't like about yourself. Because you can't put value on a trash can if you're not a good person deep down inside your heart. You can't put value on yourself because you know deep down in your heart you're a sleazebag. Or you're a scumbag. Or you're a skellywag. These are just hood terminology that we all know. You dig? So you got to do some soul searching and understand that... You have to change some of the negative things about you and your life and your personality. Because your personality doesn't show a person of character or a person that should even be valued. So you got to keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Once you start to change who you are and you work hard on yourself, then you're doing your job. And you start to understand who you are as an individual. And you start to learn to love yourself. And you start to learn to care about who you are and what you think and who you let in your life and what you put in your body, what you put in your physique. That's when you start to place value in yourself. That's when you start to really value yourself. You feel me? That's what it's all about. Valuing yourself. And once you do that, ain't nobody could discredit you. Because you know the work you put in to change. Every day is about personal development. Every day. You have to work harder on yourself than you do at your job. It's about personal development. You got to develop yourself, man. I learned that from one of my mentors. You know what I mean? And you got you got you got you got to value yourself and you got to every day is about personal development. It's not easy. It's not easy being who I am. It's not easy being me. Every day I have to always be mindful when I wake up and my body allow me to move and function the way I want to function. To show my appreciation, I take myself to the gym. Even if it's for 15 minutes. Even if, if it's for, for, for uh, 20, 30 minutes, I go to the gym. Because I want to show my body some appreciation for waking me up in the right mind. My limbs are working, my hands are functioning, my eye sockets are functioning in the right direction and in the right way. So I got to show my body some appreciation. I'm going to put the right things in my body. I'm not going to say I love myself and I'm going to be eating all the pork all of this are uh, uh, ungodly things. I'm not gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? I don't eat steak, you know? And I know steak tastes very good, especially with some A1 sauce. You know what I mean? I love it. It tastes really good. But once I start to put value on myself, 
I stopped to take, I, I took steak out of my diet. I took pork out of my diet because I started to learn how harmful it is to the body. And I love myself and I value myself so I don't put negative things in my body that's going to harm me. Now, you might say, we're going to die all, we're going to die anyway, right? You may say, I'm not going to change up my diet because I'm going to die anyway. Yeah, we all going to die. That's a guarantee. But I don't want to speed up the process. Do you want to speed up the process? I don't know about you, but I want to be here as long as I can. So in 2020, I want y'all to put value in yourself, man. That's the first thing you need to do. Everybody coming up with 2020 resolution. Everybody trying to say, this is my year. This is my year. This is my year. Man, let me tell you this. If you don't have, you might have a new year, but if you don't have a new mindset, it's going to be the same, same bullshit as last year. You may have a new year, but if you don't have a new mindset, it's just going to be a repetitive fucking year for you. Excuse my French. So you have to dig deep, do some soul searching, soul searching, find out who you are inside. You know what I mean? Change some of those negative ways that you have about yourself and move forward, be a better person, and place value in yourself. It's your boy Liquid Cash, a.k.a. Money Mitch. And right now, I just want to, just, 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 I feel great because I, I, I finished uh, a semester of School of Hard Knocks and uh, I didn't even think I was going to be able to finish this amount of episodes that I have finished. So, you know, I definitely want to put a pat, o- a pat on my back for even doing it. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people out there right now got dreams and aspirations, but they're procrastinating and they're not doing it. You know, I started off this school of hard knocks with the five P's. And I don't know if y'all remember the five P's, but I'm going to repeat them just in case you might have forgot. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. And I'm going to say it again, because some of you be listening too slow. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. So for 2020, I want you to take the proper preparation so you can perform at a high standard. You could be able to conquer this year. And whatever you want to do, whatever you're trying to do, this year you accomplish it. This year you make it happen. I want you to have tunnel vision because this is a year of clear vision, 2020 vision. This is the year for that. So I have a ton of vision. Set your goals. Don't tell everybody your goal because most of them don't even want you to accomplish them. Don't even go around screaming to everybody and writing your goals out and telling people your goals or posting it on Instagram and stuff like that. Half of those people will, 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 will wish that you don't accomplish none of them. And they're not even going to help you to accomplish any of them anyway. So don't even waste your time telling them your goals. Keep your goals to yourself and you work towards them silently. And when it's time to broadcast your accomplishments, then you do that. For 2020, I got a book coming out. I'm not going to say the name of the book, but it's going to be a dope self-help book. It's going to be a nice book that's made for people like me who don't got time to read a 600-page book or maybe even a 300-page book. This book is going to be short and sweet, but it's going to be soaked up with nothing but game, nothing but information. You know what I mean? Nothing but information on how to elevate your mind frame because that's what I want to do. That's what my my contribution I want to leave to society. I want to leave some of the things that I've acquired along my journey, my knowledge, as small as it may be, because it ain't a lot. You know what I mean? It ain't a lot. I ain't the smartest, I ain't the smartest, uh, you know what I mean, nigga in the world. And I ain't the sharpest, you know, knife in the drawer. But I've acquired some level of knowledge and I would like to share that with you and with others around the world. So, you know, if y'all gain any knowledge from my videos, I want you to share it, man. I want you to share it. 2020, man, it's going to be a great year. Don't be a hater. Share the videos. Subscribe, like, and comment. Don't be selfish. Share the videos. I like to repeat that because a lot of times we share people videos that we don't know. 
We share people videos that don't give a shit about us. Don't give us no game. Don't give us no knowledge. Don't give us no wisdom. And we share their videos. And we, you know, we let the world see all of that. And when you know somebody that's from your block or know somebody that's from your neighborhood and you don't share their video and you don't support what they're doing, that's something we got to change for 2020. We got to start supporting each other. We got to start helping each other. But at the end of the day, not everybody going to help. But we ain't worrying about the ones who don't. We're about the ones who do help. It's your boy Liquid Cash. Like, subscribe. Y'all already know what it is. It's been a hell of a year. It's been a great year for me. 2020. I wish y'all nothing but more blessings and more success. Subscribe. It's your boy Liquid Cash. Cheers.